Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and for this episode of Unicoi Questions, we're going to delve into the FCBC Walnut Youth Sermons and find a sermon called The Unstoppable Force by Pastor Eugene Ho on April 19th, 2015. He's preaching from Acts 3, 1 to 4, 4, and he asks us the question, how do you use your gifts? We move now to our second point. We see the power of Christ, but something happens, and Peter takes advantage of an opportune moment, and we see the gospel of Christ. Verse 11 says, While he was clinging to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them at the so-called portico of Solomon, full of amazement. So perhaps you're reading and you're thinking, what is the portico of Solomon? I have no idea what this looks like. Um, Hopefully you can kind of see uh, from the picture. You have two pictures. Um, The one on the left is basically the general temple scene. You see all these columns, all these colonnades, and there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of people walking through. There's a lot of people in the middle uh, section, open section. And you can imagine this could be a great place as many people are coming, especially peak hours of the temple. They're gathering in this place because this is the place to be. This is the place where you want to be seen. And you could imagine if you're standing in where the columns are, under that shade, and if you're looking out, a lot of people can gather. And you have a big platform in order to teach. And you see in the picture on the right, this is what's going on. This isn't Peter and John, but this is a a rendition of Jesus. Jesus is walking through the, the porticos. He's walking through those colonnades. And you see people are sitting. They're sitting there. They're waiting to hear a word. They're waiting to hear something from Jesus. And in a similar instance, these people in our passage in Acts, they're gathering together. They're flocking to these columns to hear and to see something amazing. Word has spread that this lame man who had never walked a day in his life, he's now walking and he's jumping around and just going crazy and he's praising this God. And all these people are running. They're not walking. They're running together, crowding around to get a look at Peter and John. And they are full of amazement. Now, how would you feel in this instance? How would you respond if everyone began to treat you like you were a hero? I could think Peter and John, they just healed a man. And they could be looking at it and thinking, hey, I did that. Look at the power that we have. John, did you see what I just did? This man never walked before, and I told him to get up and walk. What Jesus said, it actually works. It's actually true. We actually do have this unique power to heal the lame and to heal the sick. What should we do next? And imagine all the people are coming, and they're looking at him and saying, what are you going to do next? They're heroes. And they could take all the attention for themselves. And our human tendency is to do that ourselves. But what does Peter do? Verse 12, But when Peter saw this, he replied to the people, Men of Israel, why are you amazed at this? Or why do you gaze at us as if by our own power or piety we had made him walk? Peter is saying, What are you looking at? Don't you know that this power is not from me? Don't you know it's not because I am super religious that I'm able to heal this man? You're looking in the wrong place. We're just fishermen. We don't have any awesome powers. But the power is not in us. The power is in something else. The power is in someone else. And he says it for us in verse 13. And he points, not to himself, but he points to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, who has glorified his servant, Jesus. How do you use your gifts? All of you here are gifted in some way. Some of you are gifted athletically. You have much athletic talent. Perhaps some of you are gifted musically. We see musical talent every Sunday, people who play the drums, play the piano, play the tambourine, can sing. You have much musical talent. Perhaps some of you are are gifted academically. 
You're doing very well in school. You're at the top of your class. Math comes easy to you. English comes easy to you. Science comes easy to you. You're very gifted in these ways. And people give you all this attention because you're so smart, because you're so athletic, because you're so talented. How do you respond in those moments? What are you saying? Are you saying, yeah, I'm so good because I practice every day this week. I practice for two hours. I practice for three hours. I practice twice a day at the piano so I could get good at it. You know, I worked really hard at this. This is why I'm able to be here is because I put in all the work. I put in all the effort. And if we're honest with ourselves, I think sometimes we do that. And we think it's because of what we have done that we have been able to perform. But Peter reminds us here, it's not because of us. It's because of God. God has gifted you. God has gifted you not so that you could boast in yourself, but so that you could boast in Him. And this is what Peter does. Peter has power. Peter has ability. He uses that ability. And he says, it's not mine. It's Christ. It's God who is doing it. It is God who is performing the miracle. Thanks, Pastor Eugene, and thank you everyone for listening. You can always find more sermons at youtube.com slash fcbcwalnut. Remember to ask us all of your questions or check out our archive at unicoyquestions.tumblr.com. And you can also find us on Instagram at fcbc.unicoy and on YouTube at youtube.com slash unicoyfilms. Thanks. See you soon.